Okay, so an example of um, using uh, standardized scores to compare uh, two different uh, variables, in this case two different people, uh, Joanne and Kerwin, and their scores in the maths and science tests. And we're going to say something about what the scores tell, the, tell you about uh, their performances. Well, let's remind ourselves where um, the standardized score came from. Um, so standardized scores is equal to the data variable take away the mean of that data variable divide by the standard deviation of the x values of the data variable um, and literally it's representing something to do with the normal distribution so the z scores will go to plus 3 and minus 3 so the closer to 0 then the more average you are uh, above zero Z score, then you're above average, and below uh, zero, then you're below average. And we can see that's the calculation done here, because if your data value is above average, then you're going to be doing something bigger than the mean, uh, divided by the standard deviation, uh, which is always positive. So you're going to end up with a positive value, and if we've got something below the mean, then we're going to end up with a negative Z. So that's how um, these data variables have been calculated. So let's have a look. So Science and mathematics, right? So we can see that Joanne had positive scores in both tests, so she did better than average in both um, subjects, and Kerwin um, did better than average in maths, uh, positive 1.4, and much better than Joanne, so he's much stronger at maths. But his negative score here suggests that in science he's below average. So comparisons then. Uh, we could say things like um, Joanne scored above average in both subjects, so did better overall as Kerwin performed below average in science with a negative standardized score. However, Kerwin did much better than average in maths than German. So that's the kind of answer we give to this kind of question. Um, Joanne scored above average in both subjects, so did better overall as Cohen Pelot in science. And then, however, Cohen did much better than average in maths than Joanne uh, with his score of uh, 1.4 compared to 0.5.